All right, so now let's go ahead and adjust the screen resolution and position. So first off, I know that I'm on a 1080p TV, and so I want to check and make sure that the TV is set to 1080p. And then also, on the top left corner of my screen, I can't see the W for Wednesday, so I need to adjust the screen size down a little bit. So let's start by going to Settings, go to Display, go to Screen Resolution, and I can see that it is currently set to 1080p 60 hertz. Now, if for some reason it was set to 720p, I could go over here and turn auto switch best resolution off, just like that, and then I could go and manually select the 1080p 60 hertz. If I have a 720 TV, I could manually go in and set it to 720 60 hertz. The US is always 60 hertz, so if you're in another country, then go ahead and choose whatever hertz your particular settings are. So now that that's done, I'm going to go back out by pressing the escape button on the keyboard or the back arrow on the remote, as you can see here. And then I'm going to go over to screen position. Now from here you can go in or out and adjust the screen resolution as you can see the current scaling right here so 93 percent I'm gonna take it down to 87 I know that's uh, what it is on my TV and at 86 I can see off the edge that I can see the black area there I'm gonna go back up one to 87 and it's touching the black area so I know that that's good and if I go back out by hitting escape or the back arrow, I can now see Wednesday and also past Wednesday all the way to the edge. So that's it, good to go. All right, now we're going to go ahead and set up a Google Play Store account. So to do this, you just simply go up to the Google Play Store icon. I would highly recommend doing this with a mouse and keyboard, such as the one that uh, Streamline actually sells. If you don't have one, then you can use the remote that came with the box. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on the mouse arrow on the remote, or you can actually use the mouse if you have a keyboard, and just select in this box here and type in your email account. If you do not have a Gmail account, I would highly recommend setting one up from a computer, as if you do it from here, it will require a phone number to go along with it. If you do it from a computer, it will not. So I'm just going to type in my email address. And you don't need to put the at gmail.com part. At that point, you're going to want to go ahead and press down and then go to this arrow here, press OK. And as you can see here, it added the at gmail.com for me. Now go ahead and type in your password. And then again, press down and go over to this arrow. Now at this point, you're going to need to enable the mouse and go down and click on Accept. To select anything, you just press OK. And of course, if you have just regular trackpad on the keyboard, then you can do that. This is logging into Google, and now we're going to hit Next again. and it's asking if we want to purchase anything from the Google Play Store we will need some method of payment you can choose to put that in now you can put that in later or you could never put it in it's not a big deal it doesn't matter especially if you're not going to be buying any apps so I'm just going to choose remind me later and then hit next and now we're logged in so now we can go ahead and update our apps. So to do so, you just click in the search box here and type in the name of an app that you'd like to download or update. 
So the two that are most important are Chrome and also YouTube. After you've typed it in, go ahead and press OK, and you can see it does the search. And this one here that has the little briefcase with the check mark, that means that that's the one that we currently have. So I'm just going to select that and then click Update and that will start downloading the updates. I would recommend doing that with Chrome and also with YouTube just to make sure that those are up to date. Of course you can do searches for anything else that you would like to update or install. On to the next.